Doom. April 3rd, 2011. What is up? Hey, this is Daily Doom. No Doom today because this is number nine, our ninth episode. Every third episode, we throw a little positive spin on things and uh, keep our heads out of the doom every now and again, right? So, here we go. All right, take a look at this. This is solarsystemscope.com. Here it is. And uh, this is really cool. Uh, this is a website you can go to you, with any browser. And um, they are adding all kinds of really cool features here on this thing. And uh, here's the different kinds of views. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at this right here. Ooh, look at this. So this is what the, the stars look like from our perspective, from where we are. I'm going to kick it on back here to the heliocentric view. All right, so we can see the orbits here. This is awesome, okay? I mean, not only is this just sort of a fun thing to do, this is meditative, you know? This is something that makes you say, wow, we're not, I'm not alone here in this universe. Look at this freaking huge universe right here. This is unbelievable. We're just a tiny little speck here, right? And so we can look at this and we can take a look at the Earth here. And let's go ahead and click on Earth. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And this is the time as it is right now. As you can see, uh, the U.S. now is going to sleep. Like there's California. It's asleep now. Looks like it's passing Hawaii. Well, here, Hawaii is right here, looks like. So it'll be go Hawaii will be going to sleep here soon. So, anyway, it's just very, very cool. It's just kind of cool. This is like one day per second is basically how it goes around here. You can see the moon. Check us out, man. Did I get you dizzy? Man, see, so we're going like 67,000 miles an hour our whole entire life. Plus, when we zoom out of here, when we zoom out of this thing, we just sort of watch it cruise on. It's still going. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Look at this, man. So, so we're going around the sun at, what, 144,000 miles an hour or something? I don't even know what the exact numbers are. I'm talking out of my ass on that one. But, um, yeah, I know that, that, um, that we go, cruise around on our axis at about 67,000 miles an hour. And uh, that's just amazing to sit here and see what's going on here. Plus, you can look at all of the um, – I like looking at the constellations. I'm going to look back at the constellations again because that's just really cool. I was a kid. I used to love checking out the constellations. I'm thinking though, if I had, if we were looking at some of these, we'd probably name them something else. Like this one right here, I would say, yeah, look, look at that. I would say, whoa, that's like a big X. Let's call that the X. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's great. That's a great idea. Like this Ursa Minor. No, I'm gonna call that Pan with long handle. Right? Check out the Pan with long handle. Oh, here's Ursa Major. What is this? This is the this is the person. Looks like looks like a person running over to go grab the pan. So it's like they're cooking something on the stove, looks like. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably name these different things. Be like, oh, look, it's the great coat hanger. So we're going to call that Leo. You are now coat hanger. Right? I just want to let you know. And the coat hanger is right here next to the upside down, upside down Y. Okay? It's not cancer anymore. It's called Y. It's the Y chromosome. It's nice. All right. Yeah, so this right here is like a W. That's kind of nice. Sitting on top of a, sitting on top of a J. Or it's a field goal post. Yeah, yeah, that's a field goal post. That's what I'll call that one from now on. Uh, you know the field goal post um, constellation up there? Oh, look at this, Orion. See, that still looks like a dude with a bow and arrow, right? So I would still call him bow and arrow dude. Orion, that's closer. Now. You know, that's five, five letters. That's good. Anyway, so this is a pretty sweet app. Uh, on your desktop, you can play with it with freaking any, any desktop that you want. Um, look at that. That's just pretty cool, sort of. It's like, look, it's the the Earth. Everybody goes around the Earth. See, this is like what we believed in the 1400s. It's like, see, the Earth is in the middle of the universe, okay? And what happens is, see, the sun and its little measly self, it, it rotates around us. See? Look at the moon. The moon just needs to freaking chill out, doesn't it? I mean, God, why you got to keep going all around us so fast all the time? Gosh. Let the moon do its thing, people. Gosh. Quit bitching about the moon. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I uh, wanted to show you that app again. It's called Solar System Scope. It's all part of this whole thing. You know, we're connected to all of this. We're star stuff. That's what's so interesting. If you if you pay attention to Carl Sagan and his whole Cosmos, um, you know, video series that they put put together in the 80s, uh, it's just amazing. We are truly stardust. We were built from the star core of a supernova. 
right, that exploded. The star exploded, baboosh. And over millions and billions of years, boom, all of the um, components and elements comprise these certain planets. And life grows on some of them, and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes we're good enough to have a whole civilization growing. And you know what? Sometimes we're good enough to have, wow, we can drive cars, and we can fly airplanes, and we can talk on cell phones and communicate and make videos, and, and, we, can, and we can use the Internet and do all this stuff. But are we going to destroy ourselves, or are we going to evolve? Life, this, life, look at this, because this is life. This is, this is it. This is what it all is. I mean, look how everything goes around and works so perfectly. And we click around and we see all the other stars from all the other you know, you know, constellations. This is what we always see. All these other stars inside of our you know, intermediate galaxy for the most part. A lot of them are. Some of them are not, but you know, it's just amazing to see what's going on through all of this. It's just unbelievable. So, you are just a speck, okay? We're all just tiny specks, but we all make up this whole huge crazy thing, this co thing called the universe, which there might be more than just this one, right? Who knows? But I guarantee you we'll be able to find out more once we pass on to the next dimension, whenever that is. Hopefully that's a long time from now. Hopefully we're able to maintain ourselves and not destroy ourselves over the course of the next uh, however many years we have, you know, we're alive. You know, I, I feel that we're going to wrestle the power away from the powers that be. I think that uh, you know we're going to be uh, given an opportunity to create a whole new future for ourselves. Some of us may not make it, but you know what? That's just the way life goes. Uh, we're here now, so let's enjoy the moment, what we have, and uh, that's all you can do. So check this out here. This is kind of an interesting thing I wanted to show you on the heliocentric view. Kind of a funny thing, because obviously this is not to scale, but if it were, I wanted to, to leave you with just a little bit of doom. All right, let's watch here Neptune and let's watch Venus and Earth here. It looks to me like the moon uh, is getting pretty close to uh, to Venus up in here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks to me. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on a second here. Come on, man. Look at that. So here it comes. Look how close they are, man. Earth and Venus are going to crunch into one another. This is some dangerous stuff you all need to know about. Okay? I'm daily doom adam adamnus. Nostra <laughs> daily doom ostrus. <laughs> crunch, here it comes. Oh, the moon is going to crunch through Venus. But when it's all said and done, Venus is going to be like, look, it didn't phase me because I'm freaking Venus, right? So, and then I would be looking down here and I would say, oh, look at these. Oh, it's, it's a little U. See, it's the U constellation. Oh, hey, here's another coat hanger one and kind of a backward C. And, uh, this right here looks like one of those uh, things that you that looks like kind of like a vacuum or a price tag. Yeah, it's the price tag constellation. I'm just gonna name them something different. Anyways, no doom today. Much love to each one of you guys. You know, we're all part of this magical rock that spins around and around, and we have this other rock, and we float around these other rocks, and you know, we're just all cosmic dust, man. And so that's badass to me. We're lucky to be here, so let's enjoy it. It sucks that there's people who want to uh, corrupt this system and and and, and uh, give our time here on this planet. Uh, you know, make it short. We're going to be polluted with freaking nuclear, biohazardous waste and all kinds of other crazy stuff, radiation flowing on us and all kinds of madness. But um, I'll tell you what. I think it's a uh, it's it's a wondrous, wondrous universe that we live in, and uh, I'm enjoying it. So have love in your heart, peace, and we'll catch you next time.